Greetings, fellow and future hunters. Cynthia Elena here on the sandy beaches of Sunnyside Key in the land of hatchlings. I hope you brought your beachwear and some cold drinks. Let's get cracking and ride some waves. In this video, I want to show you more about one of my favorite hatchlings locations, Sunnyside Key. This location is usually open in the summer, mainly in July, but also in May when the game hosts an event called Challenge Mania. This is definitely by far one of my favorite events. If you wish to know more about the game itself and its basic features, please watch my video Hatchlings for Beginners. Here in Sunnyside Key, the eggs float in and out like waves. One can either try to catch them as they float by or one can hit the pause button and then grab what one needs. If you're playing on laptop or PC, a great feature for this is the space bar. You can hit the space bar to pause and unpause the game. This comes in very handy when you have the speed set to high. Another feature that is very handy in this location is the H on your keyboard. It toggles the in-game display items. And that way, if, if you have a wave ending up here with an egg that you really want or need for a challenge, you can grab it easily. I already showed you the speed control bar. Above the speed control bar is the island times bar. Every time you collect an egg, it shows you how much energy you have left. It constantly refills as you keep playing. If that is not fast enough, for you, you can purchase island time. This will refill your energy faster. Every once in a while, tokens come along among the eggs. These can be thrown into the Manahua. When she's ready to erupt, you get thrown in and fight others for eggs that are in there. There are usually specific eggs that are only available in the volcano. Um, in the summer, there's usually new Uber series that they put in there and there are also special event eggs that are in there. Last year we had Eastness in July, Christmas and Easter in July, where the North Pole and Sunnyside Key were open. And the North Pole Uber family, the Nickelbits, they came over to Sunnyside Key to vacation. And the Rapides from Sunnyside Key, they went to the North Pole to vacation. So that was fun. Slightly confusing, but that was a lot of fun. This year we have Creaster. So again, Christmas and Easter in July. And uh, right now, there's a lot happening that was happening last year, but we expect something new to come up anytime now. So lots of fun in the summer. Who doesn't like Christmas in July? Now we wait for the board to load. The gold tokens are the regular ones and the blue ones are premium tokens that only come up for premium members. If you don't have any tokens coming along and you really desperately want to get into the volcano, you can purchase them. Premium members get one free token each day. Then you get to purchase offerings. The silver one will get you in. But the higher the offering, the faster she will erupt. In the summer during regular Sunnyside Key time, we can collect sea stars as currency to use if we want to buy decorations for our sandbox. I will show my sandbox at the end of this video. While we wait for the volcano to erupt on the bottom here, I have a couple of uh, challenges open. We need to find these uh, eggs to complete the challenges and get points. Here we go.
So when the volcano is done, you get thrown out automatically. Also, if you catch something in the volcano, you get thrown out automatically. Okay, that's enough egg salad for today. I hope you enjoyed Sunnyside Key. And if you're interested in playing the game yourself, I will post a link to the game in the description of this video. And I will also post a link to the fan page. If you enjoyed this video or if it was any help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more Hatchlings videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you are a Hatchlings addict already, let me know in the comments what you enjoy about the game. Thank you for watching.